Hey guys, up, 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 up. Happy faces, happy faces. Happy about what? You saw what they did to Frankie. It's gonna be four on five. We don't stand stop, a chance. Stop, stop, stop. We don't stand a chance? You don't think we stand a chance? We're four of the best. We will always have a chance. So they took one guy out. It's four on five now. That's all right. They took one. Just one. There's still four of us. There's still four. We will not give up. We will never give up. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. How can I do this? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tonight, men, we're about to be in the biggest battle of our lives. Do you understand that? But really, it is just the genesis of what we're going to do. Tonight is just the start of what being Jimmy Rave approved is about. Tonight, we are going to rid everybody of their sins, of our sins, Rampage Pro Wrestling sins, the sins of pro wrestling in general, all the faults, the irresponsibilities of everybody that we come across. Tonight, we have a chance to redeem all that. And you men were chosen for a reason. You men are Jimmy Rave approved. And I appreciate, from the bottom of my heart, you coming on this crusade with us, Jimmy Vane. It's my pleasure, Mr. Rave. But are you ready, Chip Day? No, I'm ready. Are you, Corey? Yeah, I'm ready. Michael? I've been ready. I'm ready. Tonight, we are the redeemers. We are the crusaders. We are the men that are going to show pro wrestling what it's about to be Jimmy Rave approved. And tonight, Kyle Matthews, you better be ready to repent. Kyle Matthews, Kyle Matthews, Adrian Hawkins, marvelous Michael Stevens, and Drew Adler. They may be one man down, but they're determined to fight the good fight. Certainly Kyle Matthews wouldn't turn down any opportunity that he gets to get in the ring with Jimmy Rave. The following contest is a 10 And we'll go to the ring announcer, Miss Allen. This surviving team or team member will get to choose a future match at Rampage Pro Wrestling. When someone is eliminated, they will be sent to the back by the referee. Introducing first, the Jimmy Rave crew. Do or die, Chip Day. Well, four against five, but it's going to happen right now, Ben. And as she said, uh, as a man is defeated, she will go back to the dressing room so they can even these odds very quickly. Wait just a minute. The music is sounding here. What is this? We wonder what happened to Sal Ranaro. Here he is. Well, there is a fifth member, and Sal Ranaro has been gone as general manager, but he's back as the fifth member of the team, and the match is on, and the referee already has lost control. Chip Day with Drew Adler. Jimmy Rave is out with Marvelous Michael Stevens. Kyle Matthews is tying up with Mike Posey. Jeremy Vane is taking on Adrian Hawkins, and on the far side, you've got Corey Hollis. Talk about pandemonium and excitement. And Sal Renaro, hard to keep track. Jimmy Rave is now in the ring. He's got Mike Posey throwing him into the corner into Marvelous Michael Stevens. There goes Corey Hollis. There goes Chip Day. They're wearing out Marvelous Michael Stevens, and he's all alone with the rest of his team on the outside. 
as Jeremy Bain kicks him in the face. Ooh, Jimmy Rave tries to come in. Stevens out of the way. There's Sal Renaro on Rave. Hard to keep track of all this action, Ben. Indeed it is. All these men just colliding into Jimmy Rave. And what a target he is as all his men are on the floor. And he thought he had uh, taken the odds away from Kyle Matthews' team. Matthews pulled to the outside by Mike Posey. Up and out over the top. Uh, Sunshot Poncha by Adrian Hawkins on Jeremy Bain. The ring is now empty except for referee Brent Wiley. It's all on the floor. Crash bodies everywhere, and the team of Sal Bernaro, Drew Adler, Marvis Michael Stevens. We now finally have two Adrian men in Hawkins. the ring. Hopefully we're going to settle this thing down and get going. Jimmy Rave reverses, throws Michael Stevens in the ropes, up and over. Clothesline knocks him off his feet to the floor. Jimmy Rave has a hold of him, and it looks like we finally have this settled down and actually have a match going. Wait, Jimmy Rave just hit... Yep. Did you see that? That quickly, Jimmy Rave has Jimmy taken Rave out. has just eliminated Marvelous Michael Stevens. Marvelous Michael but Sal Renaro is in the ring, up and over and out goes Jimmy Rave. But Chip Day has come in. Rave then gets from behind. Whoa! And Day is able to catch Rave, only to get a knee in the face by Adler. Posey catches a whole neck breaker down to the knee on Drew Adler. Adrian Hawkins is in, slingshot elbow off the ropes. Hawkins is up as he kips up, oh, into the corner. Here comes Kyle Matthews, boot by Vane. Miles Matthews is off, big drop kick and standing tall in the middle of the ring, this Kyle Matthews. But wait, Jimmy Rave serious. is in the ring behind him and he's got a chain right in the clear view of the referee and all of us. Kyle Matthews is up to his feet, but Vane is there with a chain and the referee, no! No way, he took the chain and knocked the lights out of Kyle Matthews. But this is not a no disqualification match that I know of. The referee is trying to get the attention of Miss Alley. It appears that, Jimmy yes, he's disqualified yes. Jimmy Vane and he's going Jimmy to eliminate him from the match. match. But wait oh, and the referee, wait a minute. He's not going to be able to get away with that. And Rave is wearing out Kyle Matthews, trying to eliminate him from this match also. Rave attacked Here come the referees. Here come the rest of it. Out on the floor, the Jimmy Rave approved team all on one side. But already a man short with my marvelous Michael Stevens eliminated and down in the ring. And I can't tell right now. I can't see it. But it looks, yes, it looks like he's been busted open, Ben. I believe he has, and obviously a laceration of the head of Tom Matthews for a chain. Brent Wiley is also down, being tended to by referee Jimmy on the outside as Jimmy Rave has been uh, eliminated from the match by disqualification, but obviously this was his intention from the beginning. Certainly he has left his man in what he thinks is going to be a good situation. Tom Matthews may not be able to continue uh, if, he is, if he's opened up this badly. Well, it's now four members of the Jimmy Rave approved team remaining, and it appears that simply by the injury that's been done to Kyle Matthews, they've got that head covered. There's a serious gash that's over. Look at the blood, Ben. That's all over that towel. Profusely bleeding everywhere, and you see Sal Renaro, who is wrestling in this match. And wait a minute, there. Hawkins and Drew Adler trying to get him. I don't know. I don't believe Kyle Matthews is going to be able to continue in this match. That's what I've been waiting here for. That and towel is so Come blood, on, Bill. It's right now the referee has suspended the match for this amount of time, and they're escorting Kyle Matthews to the back. So it appears that we're going to have a four on three at this point. Kyle Matthews is back. Then we're going to take a short break. Okay. We'll be right back after these messages. Wow. Okay, we're back, and they have sent Kyle Matthews back to the back. We've got four men now on three. This is an elimination tag team match. And remember, the winning uh, remainers. And whoever's remaining at the end is to bring their own match at a future event here at Rampage. And now Sal Renaro pounding away now on Corey Hollis, arm from across the ring. Flying drop kick by Sal Renaro. I know Sal must feel good to be back in the ring. I know he missed it. Scoops him up for a slam, hard slam, and tag is made. And now in comes Adrian Hawkins. Hawkins now grabbing Corey Hollis, scoops him up, and a full slam. Well, and good tagging in and out right now by what we were calling the Kyle Matthews team, but they're one man short. Kyle Matthews having been eliminated on the outside. Marvelous Michael Stevens eliminated by pinfall. And now, and caught now, but so far, well, Corey Hall is able to escape Chip Day in, but Sal Renor is ready, catches him in a body slam, takes him over, has control, holds him down for a big stomp to the top of the head. 
All of this is how we in the ring and taking him now, ramming him into the corner as Chip Day now, do or die, may have to die in this situation. And in comes Adrian Hawkins with this uh, battery of boots here, pounding away on the man. Well, the strategies that have gone back and forth in this particular 10-man contest. First, we expected Frankie Valentine taken out by the Jimmy Rave approved team. Then we had the elimination of marvelous Michael Stevens early in the match by Jimmy Rave. Then, obviously, the plan, they anticipated that Sal Renaro wasn't going to be there. They had no idea there was going to be a fifth man, but they planned to take out the man that I guess they thought was the strongest part of the team, and that was Kyle Matthews. But now with Sal Renaro there, there's still some hope for this young team as Drew Adler maintains control of the arm of Chip Day. Chip Day goes for the rope, and uh, Sal Renaro helps that uh, rope break right there. I have to say, it's been a great matchup thus far as far as the action. Certainly not what we expected as far as the eliminations. You never know when a match like this what will happen, especially... Ooh, neck breaker right there on Chip Day. This could be it right there for Day. Only a two count. And Chip Day now being worked over as in the ring. Renaro continues, front face lock, front chancery type move. And there that time, Day bulls him backwards into the corner. Tag is made, in comes Corey Hollis, hard chop to the chest, and now a snap there. Rolls him over and a back kick. Covers him now, lateral press hooks the leg. Only a one count on Sal. One of the fans were excited to see Sal. Well, and Sal Renaro has been out of the ring for quite a while now, and there's a little bit of ring rush showing, but not a lot. By the way, Sal Renaro and his wife Katie just uh, became parents. Congratulations to Katie, who uh, once worked uh, behind the scenes with the productions of Rampage. But wrestling good, maneuvering there that time. Mike Posey now into the ring on Sal Renaro, goes for a hip toss, reversed, up and over, monkey flip on Posey, he's to the outside, here comes Bain, Renaro catches him, made, manages to duck that one, Renaro comes across, he's got Bain in the corner, and he's got him again, there's another monkey flip, oh, and, and Bain first. goes all the way over face first. Completely flipped around and landed on his face, and now, uh, now attacked by Corey Hollis, and Renaro cuts him off, Tages made and the big guy, Drew Adler comes in. Long, tall, drink of water, rolls him up, two count. So far, this has not been a typical match, at least when Corey Hollis is in. We're used to both Posey and Hollis controlling their man with a variety of lockup holds and submission type removers, but this has been fast and furious from the get-go, regardless of the various things that have occurred. The elimination by injury of Kyle Matthews, the elimination by uh, disqualification of Jimmy Rave and the elimination by pinfall of Michael Stevens and that takes us to where we are now as Posey comes into the ring and is caught by an arm drag by Drew Adler. Did you say Posey or Benedict Arnold? Which one was it? Could have been both. Certainly turned his back on the fans and on Kyle Matthews and the recent attack on Kyle Matthews where he was refereeing the match between Jimmy Rave and Kyle Matthews. And, and at the time had become one of the more popular performers here in Rampage Pro Wrestling, not only betraying Kyle Matthews, but this entire audience here at Rampage Pro Wrestling. Apparently all he needed was the approval of Jimmy Rave. Well, I believe he came in with that all the time. Jimmy Rave seems to seek out the weaknesses in the various people that are part of his Jimmy Rave approved team. No one's motive for being part of the team is the same as the other. He seems to find their weakness and capitalize on it to gain some measure of control over them, to convince them that he can find some way to help them, to redeem them, to guide them in life. I, I believe, honestly, he is at best a false prophet and is going to lead them nowhere good. Maybe an evil genius. Evil, yes. Genius, time will tell. In the ring now, Salvinaro is stretching that arm out and driving the whole body, the chest across the arm, all that weight, and now continues to put the knees into the shoulder and arm of Mike Posey. One more time, the fans say. And of course, he complies. And he's down with the upper part of the chest where all the bone structure comes into play, so he's putting down the entire breastbone area on top of that arm with his maximum weight. A lot of impact on that left arm of Mike Posey that he's now got wrenched in as full control. Posey to his feet. 
but Sal Renaro maintains control of the arm and does more damage as he tags in Adrian Hawkins. We wish all the fans watching a happy holiday season. This is the Christmas season and glad that you joined us. And we'll be back live on January 15th with more live Rampage progress on the TV shows to continue each and every week. Posey's arm thrown in. That left arm has taken quite a bit of punishment. This is more typical of uh, what we've been seeing in recent matches, but usually the other way around. Usually Posey, Corey Hollis, and the Jimmy Rave approved team, Chip Day, have been generating this kind of control offense, but now the tide has turned and it's Drew Adler who's got the opportunity. Adrian Hawkins in as soon as he sees Jeremy Vane make his presence felt. There's a lot of real heat here between Jeremy Vane, the television champion, and Adrian Hawkins, who not that long ago in a six-man tag match was able to pin the champion. Well, this has been over the last few weeks of Rampage Television, there's been an awful lot of injury and medical attention needed. Doc Gayton just a week ago, and now Kyle Matthews busted open, chained to the head, and you have to, whoa. Well, Adler was able to stop in midstream, but he was caught twice now, once by Chip Day, and enough by Chip Day for a three count, and Drew Adler has been eliminated. Then we're gonna take another commercial break right here, but we'll be back right after these messages. And we're back with this great tag team elimination match in Sal Ranaro after the elimination of Drew Adler is in the ring against the TV champion, Jeremy Vane. We've got one, two, three, four men on two at this time. Well, and this was, uh, honestly, this must have been what Jimmy Rave had planned all along to make sure that the numbers game was going to be to their advantage. And by golly, it is at this point. Sal Renaro was a surprise return. Nobody expected that, not the least of which me, you and me. But I know Jimmy Rave had no idea. I know Marvelous Michael Stevens and Drew Adler had no idea. But nobody expected what happened to Kyle Matthews. And at four on two, it doesn't look good for what was called the Kyle Matthews team. And I'm glad that uh, Sal was there for sure to take the place of Frankie Valentine, who was another man who fell victim to the attack by Jimmy Rave's approved army. Uh, they're calling Jeremy Vane a chicken. Chicken or smart, it's one of the two. Vane is a long time ago known when to run away from a fight and pick his opportunities, and that's one of the reasons he's been able to hang on to the Rampage Pro Wrestling television title for so long and remain reluctantly or, or un unfortunately for us the face of Rampage Pro Wrestling television. We're right now locking up in the middle of the ring Mike Posey and Adrian Hawkins, body slam by Hawkins, and he's down with a knee right across the throat at this point. The rules have gone out the window a bit for both teams. Referee calls for a great round of the action. Dustin Robinson tag is made. Sal Ronaro comes in and poses back into the corner. And Ronaro hard chop to the chest of Mike Posey. Ronaro now taking Posey into the other corner. And I believe the fans are asking for another chop. Then he wets the hand to get a chop in. By the way, recently both Corey Hollis and Mike Posey uh, had appearance at Ring of Honor Television in Louisville, Kentucky, and are scheduled for another upcoming appearance with Ring of Honor. Jimmy Rave approved team appears to be getting noticed all around the United States. And certainly when they travel, there's no telling what they'll come up with when they come back here. And Mike Posey in the ring now, he can't take away from this guy's talent. Outstanding athlete, former referee for WWE and other places, TNA. And in the ring right now, forearm smash by Mike Posey. And Renaro backwards in the corner, another forearm and a boot to the bit session. Through the boots and Renaro going down and now the boot to the throat. Referee goes for a break. And he gets in there and uh, breaks up Mike Posey. was wearing out Sal Renaro in the corner and Renaro now much worse for wear. Posey up, Inziguri kicked to the back of the head and he got, didn't get all of that, but he got enough of it with that step up. And Posey now moves in on Renaro. And Roxy Man. Neck breaker. Started over that neck breaker. Hooks the leg. Only a two count. A lot of feelings in this match. A lot of things going on. The fans, I know, would like to see Sal Renaro and Adrian Hawkins overcome these odds and defeat the Jimmy Rave approved team. However, of course, they do have the cards stacked against them in numbers. And the fact that Adrian Hawkins would love nothing more than to get his hands on that TV title held by uh, Jeremy Vane, that's there as well. Test of strength now, and look at Renaro. 
He sent him with that back to surfboard type maneuver applying the pressure to the back of Mike Posey. This could be a submission hold. He's got the hands tied up. The hands are locked. Escape by Posey. That was an impressive reversal right there by Mike Posey. Obviously in tremendous physical condition. Tag is made. It comes the TV champion, Jeremy Vane, the untouchable one. Master of the BDT snap mare and drives that knee to the head of Bernaro. Now a choke, I believe, and that's three calls for a break. Vane picked his opportunity. We haven't seen a lot of him in the ring so far in this match, but he's now in and doing what he does. When Vane finally does get in the ring, he is devastating in terms of his focus and his aggression. He never backs up from the man and just keeps coming and wearing the person out. And now on the ropes again, the choke here, and trying to insult the fans. I wouldn't spend too much time with the fans if I were Jeremy Vane. That may be a distraction he does not need when in the ring with the man like Sal Renaro. Renaro now is down. Hard shot by Jeremy Vane, and again turns his back and, on the man. And taunting Adrian Hawkins would like nothing more than for Sal Renaro to get over to him and give him an opportunity to get, oh, and a missile drop kick off the top, beautifully executed by Renaro. Caught him hard, and he's still got him And Renaro out. tries to get a pin. Yeah, oh, only a two-count. Now, reaching for a tag is Jeremy Vane, realizing he would be in huge trouble to Adrian Hawkins coming to the ring. That was a mistake by Sal Renaro, an excellent move off the ropes, getting the drop kick on Jeremy Vane. He should have made the tag at that point. Then, instead, he went for the cover, and in the process, Jeremy Vane was not only able to kick out, but able to grab a hold of him, make the tag to Chip Day. And Sal Renaro now having his neck wrenched at an angle that it was never intended to be wrenched. Sometimes desperation does not uh, involve knowledge and, and the best uh, thought process. Sometimes in desperation you go for something and it's not the best move. Renaro is up again, able to get him over, able to clothesline. But wait, he should be tagging, but he's not. Instead, he's trying to do this all himself, and I think that's a mistake after the time he spent. He hits the rope, and right there is Mike Posey with the knee to the back. There's a kick by kick. Chip Day. Caught him hard, and there's a tag, although Corey Hollis in the ring. Referee allows it. Single hand neck breaker. He goes for the cover. This could be it right here. Ooh. And if he were to pin Sal, that would be Adrian Hawkins against four men. And you got to wonder how much Sal's going to have in the tank after the time he's been away from the ring. Always one of the top performers here at Rampage Pro Wrestling. One of the two men in the very first match ever at Rampage Pro Wrestling. And making his return here to side with Kyle Matthews against the Jimmy Rave approved team. But is he in the condition to do it? Is he going to be able to hold out? And is Adrian Hawkins going to have to fight this fight alone? Or is, or is Sal Renaro going to be able to get out of this Rear chin lock, which has appeared to be taking everything out. He's got those forearms right across the carotid artery on the side, and it's become sort of a sleeper maneuver in the process. So they're taking a lot out of Sal Renaro this time. Sal trying to crawl around, not able to escape, and finally comes behind this man. Renaro positioning himself. Whoa, a precarious ride right there for Corey Hollis, who takes a big backdrop right there at Maybe the hands. Enough. Maybe enough if he can get that tag. Boy, Hollis is down. Sal now is rolling over toward his corner. Hollis needs to grab Renaro, but Renaro needs to make the tag before he can do it. But no, that's what I was afraid of. Hollis still, but there, he grazed him, but it was enough. Hollis going down. Mike Posey has now been tagged and is in before Sal Renaro can make it to the corner. The numbers game is definitely weighing on in this four on two contest elimination match. And so far, way ahead, there's one. By the way, he spells his name out here. S, E, and now, why? Why is a good reason, good question. Why did Mike Posey go with Jimmy Rave to start with? And, and apparently it was a long range plan. Why do these people just go along with whatever Jimmy Rave says? There must be that focus like you say, and, and the combination of, Jimmy, uh, of uh, Jeremy Vane with Jimmy Rave now making it even more dangerous. And in the rain now, Adrian Hawkins is taking a hand, one of the tag, and Salvinaro is all tied up. And we can look like a Cobra Clutch type hold, but now he has that head cinched in. 
Well, and Adrian Hawkins trying to get the crowd going to try to get Salgo. Now Hawkins trying to get in the ring. And referee Dustin Robinson is telling him, no, you have to get out. And Mike Posey using all of that strength. And you can see literally the musculature in effect as he does that. Obviously, both Corey Hollis and Mike Posey have spent a ton of time in the gym. And it shows. Whoa, there's the tag right there out of nowhere. And Mike Posey wasn't prepared for that. He's getting rocked by Adrian Hawkins up and down. Hawkins is a house of fire. Gets Posey, rocks him back into the corner. Hawkins needs to slow down. He's got so much adrenaline right now. Don't want to make a mistake, and that's easy to do with being on Mike Posey. And now Texas made Chip Day comes in. That was what I was afraid of. Hawkins had so much energy at that point. He was letting it get out of control. He needed to slow down and get control of the man. This is not the time to be going crazy out there when you're four on two. I'm trying to fire back, cut off by Chip Day. Chip Day now takes him. Snap suplex. Hooked him good that time. Took a lot out of him. And now that choke holder again, cut off that oxygen supply, wearing the man down. And you're looking over there, Chip Day has three partners. Adrian Hawkins only has one. And pandemonium here, put the boot to the back. And look at this, Chip Day trying to get the distraction here by Sal Renaro. And Renaro still groggy, obviously. He, he knew he needed to get in the ring, but he's still trying to recover, trying to get a second wind of his own. He was in the ring an awfully long time. And now it's Adrian Hawkins. Corey Hollis a snap suplex and Hollis has him down. Now Chip Day back in. The referee didn't allow the tag to Hollis. Good credit to Dustin Robinson. It's been hard to watch this match and to keep up with who's been legal, but he's done a great job since coming in uh, after the attack on our other referee, Brent Wiley by Jimmy Rave. Throws Hawkins into the corner, now whips off, and there's a reversal. Chip Day comes in with the shoulder, and there's a step-up kick. Didn't catch all of it, but caught enough of it to do some damage. Takes him over, rolls through, has him in a pinning position, manages to get that shoulder up at a two-count. Rampage Pro Wrestling at its best. This started out as a 10-man tag team elimination, and now because of eliminations and now an injury by Kyle Matthews, uh, to Kyle Matthews. Now we have four against two, and the match continues until all men on one team have been eliminated. Well, and this match is going to be limited, limited only by television time as the eliminations go, but I've been told by our producers that we're going to keep the cameras rolling no matter what happens in this match. Should we run out of television time, we promise you fans, we will have the end of this match on an upcoming episode of Rampage Television. If we don't have it this week, we will be sure to have it in the next week. And remember that the winners, whoever survives this match, whoever stays in that ring, get to pay their own match. And what a dream that is to be able to pick your own opponent, your own rules for any match in the future here at Rampage Pro Wrestling. That'd be a great gift for Christmas. Very much so. And right now, this is what Hawkins has been hoping for, the opportunity to get the television champion, Jeremy Bain, in the ring, but not like this. Bain is totally in control. Hawkins down on the mat. No offense. Well, there's a punch. There's a little offense. There's a little bit more. Every time Jeremy Vane is in, Adrian Hawkins seems to wake up a little bit. Covers him only a two count. And Jeremy Vane now pulling the hair. And taking that elbow, drops it right to the head of Adrian Hawkins. And Salonaro on that apron watching. Oh, he brushes him right there across the face. A lot of damage been done to the head and face of Adrian Hawkins. The Jimmy Rave approved group standing there. Not quite as cocky as they were. They've had a rough match up here. And now is he going for the VDT? Wait a minute, but he manages to force him back right towards Sal Renaro, and there's a tag. Good move there by Adrian Hawkins. He may want Jeremy Vane, but he's smart enough to get out and let the fresh man back in the ring. And Sal Renaro tied up, has tied up Jeremy Vane in the corner, and he's wearing him out with kicks. And now a big foot to the face. After have to remember, Sal Renaro was at one time one of the dirtiest players at Rampage Pro Wrestling, and he can go dirty move for dirty move with anybody. Exactly right. Now Sal off the ropes. Comes in with that boot, raising him across the face. And Jeremy Vane, the TV champion in a bad way, right in that corner where he does not want to be. And he's got a hold of those feet, and he's going to try to pull him out. But Vane is hanging on for dear life, but not oh. hanging on enough. Gets a big drop, and here's the pinfall right there. There's two. Oh, only two. Mike Posey was about to get in to break it up. It wasn't necessary. Almost had him, and there, Salonaro, once again, staying in front of this man. He needs to stay in control of him, and keep 
him from getting to his corner. Again, covers him lateral press, hits the leg. Again, Posey comes in, does not need two, two counts. This team does not want to lose their favoritism here. The odds are in their favor as for right now, four against two. Oh, and Vane doing what he does best, blocking the referee slightly as he goes for the eyes. Ref finally saw it, but not before Renaro was cut off by Jeremy Vane. Grabs a hold of him, brings him into the foot in the corner, two feet in the corner. Chip Day and Mike Posey setting him up, and Posey in his in is kicking him on the ground, goes to pick him up, and has got that neck wrenched. And look at the arms of muscular definition and confirmation on uh, Mike Posey. This man, a uh, powerhouse himself. Great strength, and he's using that strength to his full advantage here. Applying the pressure to the neck and shoulder and head. Sal Renaro, you the fans chanting Sal. We wonder what the status of Sal was as he disappeared for a while as the GM for Rampage Pro Wrestling. Great to see back to the ring as an active wrestler taking the place of Frankie Valentine, this 10-man tag. Well, and Sal tried to get away, and Posey, the fresher man, potentially the stronger man, was able to just to yank him back and hands him to another man who spent an awful lot of time in the gym, has an excellent, as you mentioned earlier, amateur wrestling background. But Sal Renaro able to throw him off only to get caught again. And there's another tag. Quickly making the tags in and out and right back into that same hole, Posey. Not only controlling the man, that time, good escape, throws him off. Sal Renaro needs to make the tag now to Hawkins. And in comes Jeremy Vane. And Hawkins is in, but the referee didn't see that tag. And the referee has to see the tag. We've seen the consistency on that on the part of the Rampage refs, and now it's proved to be a problem in this particular match. Whether we like it or not, the referee has to call it as he sees it, not as he And there's see it. Jeremy Vane is now going to come into the ring. Mike Posey has him, and Vane slingshots in and catches all of that upper body on Sal Renaro, knocking the wind out of him, but Renaro still able to kick out. Posey's now it's two ring. on one, and you know the referee is going to make sure that he gets them out of there. Referee has not started a five count, his discretion. Wait, up and over, Sal Renaro turns around, ducks through, and there's the tag. And that Adrian Hawkins goes up, jumps over the other two, manages to knock those two off, gets Posey, and now. And that's now. What he wanted. Jeremy Vane, here's what you needed right here. One on one, the man who wants that TV title so bad, Adrian Hawkins, with a haymaker on Jeremy Vane, and another connection. And up and down goes Jeremy Vane as Adrian Hawkins has full control. Vane trying to run away, and he's been good at that. He's grabbed a hold of the Rampage banner. He'll grab a hold of the ring if he has to, and now he's gone to the outside, and he's trying to escape. He was about to go into the crowd, Ben. I think he would go anywhere to get away from Adrian Hawkins and cut him off. Referee is the count. Like oh, and drop. up and over. Into the metal chairs and, and over the steel railing. And section two ringside just experienced a wrestler right there. Oh, they're wondering if a lady there might have been it. She seems to be fine. That was a scary maneuver right there. You don't and, get any closer to the action than this, Bill Barons. Oh, and I don't know what he just hit him with, but it was impactful. But the referee is, I believe the referee may have counted both men out. Now Vane out has thrown oh, over the top. The trash can. Jeremy Vane. Well, a front row seat can be an exciting in. thing in Rampage no, Pro wait, Wrestling. Both, both Jeremy Vane and Adrian Hawkins have been counted out. Double count out, so both men will have to leave the ring. And Vane run, grabs his belt, and he's gone with Hawkins in fast pursuit. But here's the end result. It's now Sal Renaro and all three of the Jimmy Rave-approved team. You've got Chip Day, Posey, and Corey Hollis stalking. And now, and it's like, legal. like a pack of Wolverines, they're all over him. And the referee needs to get control and has. And now it's Chip Day in the ring alone. And Sal Renaro, the only man left. And it looks like when it's all said and done, we have to question, is Sal Renaro going to be able to survive a three-on-one battle? And already not 100% from this match going so grueling and so far. I'm not sure Sal Renaro knew what he signed up for in this matchup because three on one, not good odds. Ugh. Chip Day laying the clothesline in. And Sal Renaro has been in this ring probably more than any of the performers so far in this match. He's been the workhorse of this particular match yes, for has. what was the Kyle Matthews team. Absent Kyle Matthews, who's 
been taken to the and back. He wasn't eliminated. He was just injured. Kyle Matthews was not eliminated, but effectively, definitely was eliminated. We saw the blood flowing from the top of the head. I have to assume at minimum he needs stitches. I question whether it's going to look at Sal Renaro. He's a one man fighting machine out there. But how many people can you take on at once as Corey Hollis catches him and slams him hard on that outside apron? We've talked about how unforgiving that outside ring apron is. Don't you know this was all part of the game plan of Jimmy Ray? But at this point, from a Jimmy Ray perspective, the match would have already been over. That's true. Comes in and kicks to the head, Chip Day. And a little applause there, Mike Posey. Mike Posey, Corey Hollis on the apron. Do or die, Chip Day in the ring with Sal Renaro. And you are watching Rampage Pro Wrestling and what's left of a 10-man tag team elimination. And there's nobody for Sal Renaro to tag. No way to get respite, no way to get away. All he can do at this point, all he can do is try to survive. Hope that he can get lucky enough to eliminate one. If he's lucky two, then maybe it'll be even. Maybe he'll have an opportunity, but the odds of this happening are, are really severe at this point, Ben. And this is not upset. looking good at all. Except the referee's not counting faster. And now Sal in, the, uh, in really the wrong corner, and of course, kicks from both sides. Mike Posey wrenching the neck back as the referee preoccupied with Chip Day. But how many people can he look at at once? He doesn't have eyes in the back of his head, Ben. You hear the fans' reaction to that. And the referee uh, has a thankless job in the wrestling ring. Chip Day now makes the tag. I think they're just having fun now with Sal Renaro thinking they have this match all wrapped up and pretty much. Wait a minute again. All three of them are in the ring. Referee. No oh. way. Triple drop kick. And we saw something like that a while back in what happened to Frankie Valentine. But I, Sal Renaro able to kick out. How he kicked out, I do not know. Sal Renaro, a lot of heart, a lot of determination. Don't take that away from him. Great athlete being set now upside down by Posey. And Posey, we've seen this before. And Renaro in place. And Posey outside, inside with that drop kick. And Sal hung in the tree of woe in the corner. And here's the pin, and this could be it, Ben. No, no Renaro again able to kick out. Renaro's doubled over now, reaching up. The fan support will be so important at this point because the fans are really all Sal has at this time. You've got to wonder what's going through the mind of Sal Renaro at this time. Nobody was aware that he was going to make his return to the ring. He decided on his own that the time was right, that he needed to come back. Obviously, wherever Sal Renaro's been, he's been paying attention to what's been going on here at Rampage Pro Wrestling, and he knew that he had to keep his eye on Jimmy Rave, and I guess we need to be thankful for that. But at what cost to Renaro? Oh, my God, he's got him! At what cost to Renaro? Renaro again has him hooked backside. He's got him here. Oh, only a two count. He needs to eliminate at least one or two of these guys. Good maneuver, he switched over, rolls him up. And again, able to kick out how Renaro is able, and he manages to knock the other two off the ring ape, and they weren't expecting it, but Renaro is moving very slowly. This. Has him over. Drops him, two. Oh, broken up by Hollis, so he close. Had him too. Hollis now picking up, Dustin Robinson has to get him out of the ring, but he's got the five count. Corey Hollis wearing Sal Renaro out. Referee Dustin Robinson has lost a little bit of control over this at this point and is letting it go. Here comes Hollis, but catches a big boot in the face by Sal Renaro. And Renaro goes up, comes over, hits him with that foot to the top of the head. But you can see that there's not a lot of energy in the body of Sal Renaro, but what a lot of fighting heart, the spirit of this man. There's a face plant hard to the mat for Mike Posey. And Sal Renaro. Out of nowhere is the man coming to his feet as the Jimmy Rave approved team is down. Props to Sal Renaro for being such a hard fought uh, wrestler in this match. Caught that time with the body scissors. Well, Chip Day takes him over, has him covered. One, two, he pulls him up. He may have had him right there, Bill. I, I, I guess he wants to inflict more punishment more than he wants to win the match. Well, if I'm Jimmy Rave and I'm watching this from behind the curtain or I have a monitor position at any point, I'm questioning that maneuver by Jimmy Rave approved Chip Day. That doesn't seem to be a smart move. There was an opportunity right here to be done. Wrap this match up and now it's But Day the is going rope. for this. Double knee off the top, but nobody home except the ground and those knees both caught hard on that unforgiving surface. And Renaro is back up to his feet and it's Renaro going to the outside. Catches Posey, 
with a super kick. Didn't get all of it, but got enough of it. Posey is down, and it's now Renaro climbing up top as Chip Day comes up to his feet, comes over in the corner, catches him. Action personified here. Oh, uppercut the right there in the corner. And now Chip Day, do or die. We've seen this man do this before, climbing up. Now sets him up for a suplex off the top. Sal trying to block it. But not a lot of fight left in Sal. And biting him in the top of the head. Sal Renaro pulling out all the stops, but he's the only man in the fight at this point, and he sort of has to at this point, Ben. And look at Corey Hollis on the outside of the apron fighting. And Hollis is trying to take him down, but Renaro grabs a hold of Hollis for support, manages to get position, and now it's Hollis in trouble. And I don't know what's going to go on here. Bulldog. A bulldog right on top of his old man. And he manages to catch Chip Day at the same time. Where Wait a minute. Kyle it's Matthews. Matthews is out, but look at that forehead. He's still bleeding profusely. The referee is trying to stop him. But Matthews is out, and he's back in the match. He's won the tag. He wasn't officially eliminated by pinfall and submission. Renaro sees out. him, and Renaro... Renaro has to see the injury that's done. Look Renaro is back. But wait a minute, they've pulled. Oh, Matthews has been pulled down. And there's Mike Watch Posey. Mike Posey with a low blow. And he's got him hooked in an inside cradle. I don't know Small if you saw package. that low blow, Ben, but I the referee that. didn't. Now, what's going to happen here? Because Kyle came out here to continue in this match. Sal Renaro's been eliminated, but Kyle Matthews is back in the match. Kyle but Matthews it, against three men who he would love to, to face right now, but. Certainly. Referee is checking on his condition. Referee Dustin Robinson is allowing him to continue regardless of his condition. And it's now three on one. And it's Kyle Matthews versus the entire well, Jimmy Rave approved two team. Of them need to go out. And he comes across a house of fire, but it's still three on one. And the one man has been severely injured early, perhaps concussed, definitely lacerated. And right now, Chip Day, the referee manages to get the two out hard chop to Kyle Matthews. And that bandage just barely hanging on his head. You see the blood just straining through his bandage. You have to assume he was getting medical attention in the back. I don't think he's believe he's even received stitches yet. He's been wrapped up awaiting stitches in the back, and they could not keep him there. He finally couldn't take it anymore and got up enough steam to get to the ring. One referee tried to wait a minute, he's got him hooked! He got him! He's eliminated Chip Day! And now it's Tom Matthews against Corey Hollis and Mike closing. Somehow he got him! Up and over! Hollis, wait a minute, Matthews is able to catch him in security, and he's out. Posey tossed to the outside. Matthews barely able to stand, but what an amazing amount of second win and endurance. He flies through, catches all of Posey, misses Hollis, but definitely gets every bit of Mike Posey in the process. Corey Hollis took out of the way, and Posey... And the crowd has begun RPW chants, but it's Kyle Matthews that's leading the fight all alone, and injured Kyle Matthews who has taken on two of the Jimmy Rave approved team. This is team Matthews he went off for that single knee that he's become famous for. Oh, drop kick in the corner, has him hooked. Got he it. may have him. There's another three, three count. count. He's and eliminated now. Corey Hollis Just and it's down to and Kyle Matthews, Matthews and the man who betrayed him, Ben. Been eliminated. The man who refereed the match, the man who befriended Kyle Matthews and set him up with Jimmy Rave is now going to face Cal Matthews. And this is all the marbles right here. Ten men started and two men remain. But Posey going after him. Posey is still the fresher man. But Matthews, the adrenaline is flowing. The heart of this man. The fighting spirit. Oh, catches him with a foot coming off. But no, slingshot. Oh. Slingshot him off that top rope. And now look. And he's saying this is it. This is the end. Motioning now, arm whips in reversal. But wait a minute, it's the knock a lock. He's got it. He's got the hook. He's got the hook. It's whooped. Wait a minute. He's got it, Ben. He's got, him right He's got it right there. He's got the hook a lock. Will Mike Posey be able to hold out? No one survived this today. There's the. He's submitted. Kyle Matthews has submitted him. Kyle Matthews is the winner. Coming back from unsurmountable And the winner of the match. Kyle Matthews! And so Kyle Matthews wins the match and will pick his match, the match of his choice at a future RPW event. May not have been the wisest thing that Kyle Matthews has ever done in his life, returning to the ring, 
but what a fighting spirit this man has. The things he endured here that has endured in Japan have led him to this. The opportunity in the future, Ben, to pick the match of his choice. And why do I think it's going to involve Jimmy Rave? Indeed, I think that'll be a safe bet and a, a great Christmas present and a New Year's gift for the whole RPW family. Kyle Matthews gets his match in the future and we can't wait to see what it is and who it is. Well, he may not be Jimmy Rave approved, and here at Rampage Pro Wrestling, we're all the better for it because Kyle Matthews has proven that one man can survive. Kyle Matthews has survived a lot this year, and certainly look forward to a great year in 2011 for Kyle Matthews. Remember, we'll be back here live on Saturday, January 15th. We're taking New Year's Day off. Keep watching each and every week on Rampage Pro Wrestling and Rampage Rewind, as well as rampageprowrestling.org for all the dot exact, net. Dot that would be net. a dot net. Don't go to the org. Rampageprowrestling.net, where you can watch old and new episodes of Rampage Pro Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Matthews has survived. We'll see you next time.